She'll do anything to win. And she has no problems striking a pose. And Faye Jackson's headed off, going after Miss Hart on the corner. And Miss Hart took a terrible fall on her backside. Faye Jackson setting the back of a bus right in the face of Miss Hart once. And again, Miss Hart is having her entire face lifted at the hands of Faye Jackson. There's the cannonball. Miss Hart is out. She's got her in the middle of the ring. Also close. Try to delay the pinning attempt. And now in tight, Miss Hart is showing her striking off here. Wow, what a crazy takedown on the run of this direction drop. And Faye Jackson almost got totally annihilated right there. to take place at MAWs, all for one, one for all. First time anywhere ever, Faye Jackson versus Miss Hana. And what a clash of styles and a clash of individuals we have here. And Miss Hana on her way to the ring, and no problem telling everybody exactly what she thought of them and how ugly she thought that they were. She had to wear very thick sunglasses to protect her eyes from all the ugliness that she was seeing. And she's not very kind. She she called this particular building a god-awful place. I mean, what, what, what woman would say such a thing about a beautiful establishment like this? Oh, Stephanie Buns, our official, check Faye Jackson on that backside. That's a lethal weapon for sure. And I don't think Miss Hana wants anything to do with that milkshake. Mae Jackson, one of the most popular stars in all of women's wrestling, loves to dance, shake, and party. And all over the East Coast, two and a half years as a pro, she brings the thunder and the noise to the ring. Great agility and great ring control. And her posterior she uses as a weapon. Miss Hanna, very exceptionally tall, a slim athletic build, very long arms and legs. Loud and outspoken, has made appearances on Nationwide TV in the past. Both of these women are here to make a huge impact at Maximum Assault Wrestling tonight. And Miss Hanna does have a slight experience edge on Faye Jackson, despite the fact that both of these women have had some very high profile points. Miss Hanna trying to break out of the submission attempt, goes for a waist lock from behind. But she's grabbing her, and that backside of Faye Jackson is an obstacle. Miss Hanna cannot move Faye Jackson anywhere but around sideways in the ring. Faye Jackson sends Miss Hanna for the ride. Continues to keep the momentum going. Miss Hanna's running out of control. And Faye Jackson with the shoulder tackle has put Miss Hanna down already. Check the power out of Faye Jackson parading around with Miss Hanna all over the ring. And the huge scooping slam. Jackson trying to win it quick, but Miss Hanna got the shoulder up. And she is trying to crawl for cover right now. Uh oh. Jackson might go for that triplicate of running attacks, but Miss Hanna doesn't want any part of it. She backs up all the way among the first row of fans on the outside. Hey Jackson, a wonderful personality, great demeanor, very respectful, very well trained. So much power in her arms and her legs. Shocks and awes the fans with her physical presence, her mannerisms. And all the tough opponents that Faye Jackson has competed against and some scoring victories against. Everyone from Jordan Grace, Lufisto, Maria Manic, Penelope Ford, Veda Sky, Diana Perrazzo, Madison Rain. I mean, all within a period of a year, Faye Jackson has proven herself against some of the top women's athletes. And Miss Hano is not making a lot of friends here. second. Miss Hanna tried to scratch and claw at those eyes. I don't know if 
Stephanie Bunn saw that, but Miss Hanna trying to rearrange the face of Faye Jackson in the corner. And there is the incredible flexibility of Miss Hanna, which is devastating. She can pretty much do the splits with ease, and she has more fashion sense than anybody in this room as she rides Faye Jackson along that middle rope, doing additional damage to the head and the neck. Miss Hanna with a chance to put Jackson away, but no, two count there. Very aggressive streak Miss Hanna has. When she gets on her roll, she's very difficult to stop. Very good with chain grappling, a phenomenal in terms of flexibility, acrobatic, and tumbling skill. And when she started her training in OVW, she proved that she could hang with some of the biggest and the best. Cool down to earth. But when it comes time for the fight to start, she'll do anything to win. And she has no problems striking a pose. And Faye Jackson's headed off, going after Miss Hanna in the corner. And Miss Hanna took a terrible fall on her backside. Faye Jackson setting the back of the bus right in the face of Miss Hanna once. And again, Miss Hanna is having her entire face lifted at the hands of Faye Jackson. There's the cat. Jackson with the best chance all night to win this match. Can she do it here? Dragging Miss Hanna. She can't hold on to the ropes any longer. She's got her in the middle of the ring. Oh, so close. Hey, Jackson and Miss Hanna exactly where she wanted her. And Miss Hanna used the ropes to try to delay the pinning attempt. And now in tight, Miss Hanna showing her striking off here. She dropped, and Faye Jackson almost got totally annihilated right there. The toughness and the conditioning of Miss Hanna being shown right here. She is no pushover. She's going to give Faye Jackson the fight of her life right now. Some people would claim that these two are hometown heroes. And Jackson avoids absorbing the roundhouse kick. Miss Hanna's quality of opposition from Sean Reed to Rosemary. That's also very formidable in the past year. There's the crab. Will Miss Hanna tap? She's been humiliated. Jackson wins. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Faye Jackson. Give Faye Jackson credit for absorbing the impact of that devastating drop and putting Miss Hanna down, grabbing for the leg and cranking it backwards. The pain in the hip and the lower back was too much for Miss Hanna to take. Ray Jackson has scored the big win and MAW's all for one, one for all here tonight. And Miss Hanna tapped out, gave it up, knew she was in a dangerous spot get this one up. Otherwise, she might have been tortured for real forever. Can't even walk out of here on her own power. What a shame.